Okay. We are describing the setup of the Practix CNC machine. Okay. Okay, crew. First thing you got to do is turn the power switch on. There you go. You need air pressure, so there's an orange switch over here. Press it down, turn it clockwise. That supplies the air. Once that happens, the computer will boot up. It needs to be fully on before we can calibrate the machine. Okay, the, the next thing we need is a control circuit, which is this button right down here. Uh oh. There it is. If you just heard that click, that means the air built up enough. Now it's ready. The process to calibrate it is pretty easy. Hmm. But I see a PLC alarm. So I'll hit the reset button, which is the button on the right. On the bottom left corner, there's a button that says reference. You can push this button or you can touch the screen either way. Reference, cycle start. Now you can see the machine's moving. Go ahead and look at the machine. And it's going to find its home base so it knows where it's at in the world. Takes about a minute to calibrate, maybe less. Okay. So now, the next thing is we have to open up our computer. The lower left icon says user. Click on that. That opens up this screen. You can close this. And then, if you go right to the middle of the screen, there's an icon that looks like a red skull. Double click that. And in here, there's two programs you can run, either to run one 38 by 48, 32 by 48 inch piece, or two. We'll just pick one for now. And the repetition file, we can adjust this to copy um, how many times, or to repeat how many times we want to run the program. If we do it once, we have to reload it every time. If we put in a sequence of 10, um, I only have to do this one time. And then when I download the program to the hand controller, there'll be 10 programs in there instead of one. I just have to hit the go button each time I load a new sheet. It's pretty easy. Once you hit that arrow, we're ready. So now, with this screen, before I download the program, I'm going to turn the vacuum pump on by pushing execute and then the right arrow that changes the screen so I can turn on the vacuum. Vacuum one is the only one we have. Then the return arrow brings me back to here. Now it's real important that I push auto and then execute and then download. The last program was two pieces. We're just gonna push, we could touch screen like that, okay. If that ain't working, just push one. But I have to do that twice. Push download a second time, and then push okay. Now 10 programs have been loaded, right? The only thing left to do is to turn the vacuum
was actually screw at the four corners down. Um, there's probably a couple extra ones we'd, we'd add. Once we've run one program, we'll know the location of those additional screws. It's important we don't put any screws in an area that's about to be machined. So uh, watch out for that. I think we're ready to run the program. We should also talk about not screwing the aluminum table and, and the, the seal and the convex and setting up the wood to be clean. Yeah, well, okay. So this is the running of the program. Uh, we'll do another short clip on, on uh, screwing down the, the panel.